a chance to, uh, you know, be protected in the workplace? Um, are we happy to be rid of a lot of foodstuffs and have some nice empty shelves? All that. If you're if you're delighted with Brexit, then who am I? You know, but we have squandered two hundred and fifty billion quid, and that's rising. There we are. When it comes to Brexit, the people voted, but I don't think they knew what they were voting for because it wasn't explained to them. Well, Tad, this is where twice we've involved the people. Once in Scotland's future and once in the UK's future. And twice the people have failed us in their judgment. Because what Brexit's done, and I predicted this six years ago, I've said it before, economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. This is coming to pass. McClue was correct. So there you are. So you should listen to me. Sure, a lot of you go, oh, oh, well, listen to the guy off the radio. He's bananas. Fact. All right? Ah, there we are. So that's Brexit for you. Uh, now then, looking forward to the independence vote. Uh, you do seem what I mean. You, you see Republican who wants to keep the crown or a unionist. Yeah, but you see, that's because they're misinformed. We need to inform them. That's where McClue comes in. 5,300 likes, guys. Love you guys. Why do you want to be independent from the rest of the UK only to give up that independence? Because, now this is classic. Again, my name is, is uh, Jane. Uh, you're, you're making another huge error of judgment. These are two totally separate unions. One was done through corruption, jiggery-pokery and skullduggery. That's the union between Scotland and England. Right? There's never been a case for it. It's never sat well, and Scotland was sold out. Right? The other union has proved itself to give and give and give to Scotland. So have a look at our motorways, have a look at our trunk roads, have a look at our infrastructure. All of that European money enriching Scotland. Isn't that beautiful? So you want to be free from Westminster. But you don't need to be free from Brussels. Can you can you see what I'm saying? So you want to be out of the baddie and in with the goodies. There we are. And if you if you wonder if they're baddies, have a look at what's been stolen from Scotland, what's been taken over the last 315 years. I keep running rings around them with it. They keep bringing up the Barnet formula that doesn't work. Well, no, Lord Barnett was, he, he was a good guy. I, I think it's the same Barnett that was with the BBC. And, um, you know, but uh, no, the Barnett formula is a piece of nonsense. What's the act saying, give us all your wages and we'll give you back your pocket money for beer? Wrong. So when the Chancellor goes, I found Scotland more money, we're just giving you back your own money that you've given them. You see what I mean? The government has no money. Uh, you know, the Rawls are only a cult. Well, they're a cult that goes back 2,347 years, and they've served us extremely well. The modern monarchy goes back to about 900, Kenneth MacAlpin in Scotland, and then the Scots took over the English crown. There we are. And I think the Irish crown's in there as well. You realise the UK was better off under the EU. It's not hard to see. Alba... Good for you. You tell her. There we are. Fantastic. Was it? I think not. Well, you see, you're wrong there. Listen to Alba. Much, 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 much better off. Think about the whole thing. There's a wonderful Nathan Walker sending me red roses. Nathan, thank you. You're very, very kind. Gosh, I'm just looking at the time, guys. The only time I wasn't here. Uh, just a wee second. That's better. Uh, so there were food banks, poverty, and homelessness on the rise. That, of course, is purely caused by the present government in Westminster. Prior to them, zero food banks. Prior to them, not zero poverty. Poverty has always been with us. It always will, actually, because there will always be the poor. If I've got a million quid and you've got half a million, you're poor. You see? But it doesn't boil down to money. Inflation is due to the pandemic. Uh, no, Paula, 
No, I'm afraid not. Inflation's actually due to Brexit. Everything. All the ills we're going through right now can be traced back to Brexit. Brexit, 250 billion cost. Pandemic, 150 billion cost. There we are. Okay. So don't be fooled by all that. These are really... And somebody's saying, oh, it's what's happening in Ukraine. No, absolutely not. Scotland is falling down with energy. Wind, wave, coal, gas, oil. Why are we paying through the nose? Why are we even importing energy? Do you know what I mean? And I did say when Long Gannett was closed down, I thought they shouldn't have demolished it. They should have put it in mothballs. I know it's coal-fired, but it could have got us out of a hole right now. Yep, there you have it. So there we go. Now, what have we got here? When you say when it comes to Brexit, the people voted very, very small majority. I think we were talking was the majority 1.2 million dictating that almost 70 million lose their EU citizenship with the stroke of a pen. Oh dear. There's over 50 million Remainers. 50 million in this country, Remainers. So there we are. Congrats. Uh, you've not addressed the two other issues I've just listed. You keep at that one, Alba. As a Northern Ireland person, we are certainly not worse off. You're not worse off because of what, Mark? Tell me more. Tories don't care about Scotland. It's independence from Westminster, not England as such. Absolutely. Uh, are you feeling okay today, Scotty? It's very warm out. Oh, it's very warm out, Pinky. But you can always pop back in, I say. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. This is beautiful, though. Love your scally cap. Scally, I beg your pardon. I represent the people. A Danish guy owns the most land in Scotland, 221,000 acres. Excellent. So we'll be okay for butter and bacon. The Northern Ireland Protocol is a weak government thing. Yes, we need the EU. The government's taking advantage of tax because of the war. You're amazing, says Heather. So are you, Heather. Fantastic. We are all amazing, especially on here. There are independents next year. Yes, yes, Tony. As long as it's under the crown and every Scot becomes pro-monarchy. Very important. Otherwise, we'll lose. Just became a top viewer. I thank you, Nathan. What we've been trying for independence since William Wallace and England won't let us go. Well, of course, they won't let us go. We're a huge cash cow. We've got the upper hand. We should just go. You know, we'll uh, see what uh, happens with the legal challenges. Uh, there we go. EU member states tax at source instead of taxing its people. Yes, uh, nowhere near the cost increases that we do. Good one, Alba. How's your Scotland not going independent now, son? 2023 will be free. Nothing can stop it. Yes, as long as we're pro-monarchy. Very important point. You stick with my clue, son. There we are. There's my hero there. We love you. Fantastic. Dinky do to you. I uh, now, who else have we got? That's it. We, we Stevie, we Stevie. Uh, what's the, oh yes, they're having an argy bargy. Eh? Uh, the Tories who have the closest government to nearly bring back the troubles in Ireland. Absolutely. Now here's an idiot called Rubix. Now Rubix, I've just celebrated on Monday night 30 years of Scotty McLean. I've been almost 40 years on television, radio, and newspapers. Do you honestly think I'm going to read out what you've written there? You absolute total 100% half weight. All right, we should give you a lifetime ban. Should we ban Rubik's guys for being an idiot? Just totally out of place on here. Yeah, it's not about shelves, it's about prices for basic human necessities. Absolutely, Alba. There we are. Absolutely. Make it easy to see. Fantastic. Right, guys, I'm going to have to dash. I love you guys lots. Have a beautiful morning. Dinky-doo and God bless. Taralas.